This animation shows what can happen when someone fractures their wrist and how a fractured wrist is treated. Click the navigation arrows below the animation screen to play, pause, rewind or fast forward the animation. Your body is protected and supported by a framework of bone called your skeleton. Your bones are very strong. They have three main parts. Compact bone on the outside, spongy bone on the inside, and bone marrow right at the centre. Your bones also have a nerve and blood supply. The structure of bone makes it very tough. A bone will only break if it's put under a lot of force or twisted awkwardly. A broken bone is said to be fractured. Fractures are painful because bone has a nerve and blood supply. If you trip, you usually break your fall by outstretching your hands. This puts a lot of pressure on the wrist bone, which may cause it to fracture. Here we show the forces that are acting on the wrist bone when it hits the ground to break your fall. There are many different types of fractures. A common type is a fracture of the wrist, called a Colles fracture. This type is usually caused by tripping over with the arm stretched out to break a fall. Here we show what the broken bone looks like in a Colles fracture. The two edges of the bone have moved out of line. Collis fractures are most common in women over 50. People who have weakened bones due to osteoporosis are more likely to break their wrist when they fall. Once the wrist bone has been fractured, it may be out of line. If this isn't corrected, the wrist will heal in the wrong position. If the two pieces of bone have been displaced, they need to be repositioned so that they are lined up correctly. This is known as reduction. This can be achieved by pulling on the hand, then manipulating the wrist and hand. The bone is now lined up, so it will heal in the same shape as before the fracture. Your doctor will put a plaster cast around your arm to fix it in the correct position and support the bone while it's healing.